and I am back. And that was right after <laughs> I was right after you subbed. So thank you for that, Roycey. I don't. So unfortunately, I I, I uh, you did it while I was off while I was off stream, so we didn't get to see the cool uh, animation. But that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna want to switch my things. Oopsie, oopsie. Sorry. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm. I. Mm, if I remember correctly, it's been a, okay. So it's been a while since I played Unavowed. Um. But I think the start screen here changes depending on how far you are into the game. And I have completed Unavowed twice already, so this might not be the uh, the actual starting screen that you'll get on a fresh <laughs> on a fresh start. Um, I think all my all my previous save files are still in here too, but hopefully that won't spoil too much. Actually, well, I, should I should probably just go back and uh, and delete them all anyway. But uh, whatever, I'll do that later. Um, right. Yes, we want voice and text. Commentary's off for now. So yeah, welcome to Unavowed, which is uh, which is another game in the Blackwell, kind of in the Blackwell universe. Um, it's not quite connected, but it kind of is. You'll see what I mean as we play. But let's get started. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. What heck? Silence! Now What's answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? I'm a demon. No, you are not. Ah! <laughs> Answer me true. Are you a man, woman, or demon? I'm a woman. Demon, you. your power over her mind is waning. Release her now. Release her before I am forced to destroy you. Remember, you are human. Remember. So you can choose to play tell as, uh... Us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name. You can play as a man or a woman in this game, um, and that's how you pick. <laughs> My name is... Um... Papaya. <laughs> Did you hear that, evil spirit? She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Now, your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession. Quick. Um, okay. So there are three uh, origin scenarios similar to uh, Dragon Age um, that you can pick and play through. Uh, and they will kind of affect a little bit how you solve puzzles later in the game. So I've already played this game twice. Uh, I've done the actor, and I've done the police officer, but I've not done the bartender. So we're going to do bartender this playthrough. But um, for the most part, I want this to be a... Uh, I want this to be a, an audience participation stream a little bit. Because um, there will be parts where of the game where I get to choose who to take with me into certain places. So I would like the chat uh, to make those choices for me. Um, we may not even get to that part yet because we're only doing 40 like 40 minutes of this game but just for the future uh, that's how I would like to proceed in this game but this choice I'm gonna make myself just because I've not done this one yet so bartender yes she's beginning to remember night after night you pour drinks and help people forget their troubles you give them the strength to push forward to prevail now it's your turn take your own advice 
fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! The Bronx, Sammy's Bar, one year ago. Let's see, let's see, okay. <laughs> Star tender, <laughs> which is like star. I, I went to be start start tender, but you know, you know what I mean. So this game does kind of, does something kind of clever, um, where you don't right click to look at things; it's just right there. It's like it's a, it's a mouse over um, tooltip, which is kind of cool. Hey, Samuel Stokes, welcome, and thank you for the raid. These tags get. These tags get thrown up faster than you can clean them off. The door to Sammy's bar, your place of employment for the last seven years. This sign was just recently installed. It's the only new thing about this place. Looks like the sanitation department is late picking up the trash again. Oh yes, and also your main character is not voiced for now. Teenagers like to throw beer bottles off this bridge. You try and stay clear. Parked in a tow zone, the world loves an optimist. But this diner is a great place to get food after Sammy's closes. Maybe you'll head over after work. This tree often does double duty as Sammy's second bathroom. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> hey, yeah. wait. Oh, hello. Uh Logan? What are you doing here? I shouldn't be here. I know, but I need your help. He's my brother. You remember Jonah? He's in there. He's bad. Badder than me on my worst day. Your boss called me to take him home, but... You don't want to go in? No. I thought I could, but I just can't go in there smell of that place. I, I just can't. The first thing they tell you is not to enter a gin joint if you can avoid it. I've gone four years. I can't lose them. Not even for him. <laughs> I like the four now. <laughs> when first bathroom just isn't enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to Thank him. Thank you. You have no idea. Just talk to him, okay? He practically lives in this place. You know him better than I do. And don't tell your boss I'm out here. I don't think she likes me too much these days. Logan looks good these days. Sobriety seems to suit him. Seriously, thanks for this. I'll owe you one. Logan! Logan is great. Alright. What's going on in there? <sighs> Thank God you're here. Reporting for duty, boss. Right. I'm the boss. I'm important. I'm supposed to be in control. <sighs> Fuck this. <laughs> After tonight, I'm done. I quit. Damn. I spoke to Logan outside. Wait, Logan's outside? He's not coming in? Oh, right, he's drinking the Kool-Aid. The alcohol-free kind. Maybe he's got the right idea. I thought Logan was a mean trunk, but Jonah? He's worse. He came in here all twitchy and looking scared. He asked for a whiskey and I gave it to him. Then he started crying. Then he started screaming. Now he's locked himself in the damn bathroom. Did you call the police? Are you kidding? You think they'll come to this neighborhood? Maybe in an hour if they come at all. No, we're stuck with him. But maybe. Look, maybe you can get him out of there. He's always listened to you. Just how much did he drink? Honestly, I'm surprised he's still standing. Look, just get him out the door. He can scream at the rats in the park for all I care. <laughs> I'll just wait here. Okay. 
way back out. Ahem. I believe I gave you a job to do. Fair enough. These pictures came with the bar when Sammy bought it. She has no idea what they are. Oh, I guess that's Sammy. Okay. This jukebox is just here for ambiance. It hasn't worked in ten years. These stools are held together with duct tape and a prayer. Sammy put, put a few stickers up years ago. Somehow they multiplied. It's still early in the evening. The crowds don't come in until later. Not exactly a top shelf collection, but you're working on it. A list of people who are banned from the bar. Jonah's name has been recently added. Covered with countless glass stains. Nobody uses the coasters you brought in. Sammy LaGuardia, your boss and friend. She's looking more frazzled than usual tonight. You should rename your stream Sammy's Bar. Oh yeah! <laughs> That'd be cool, actually. For a obscure little reference, kind of. Sammy keeps the darts behind the bar. Maybe you'll play later. Trunk ass idiot. I should have cut him off right away. If he pukes in there, I ain't cleaning it up. Just saying. <laughs> what are you just standing around for? Get him out of there. What are you just... The door to the bathroom. Unisex, of course. Oh, well, that's nice. The bathroom key hangs behind the bar. Oh. The key? Yeah, I guess that'll work. You seriously didn't think to use the key? Don't look at me like that. You want the truth? I didn't use the key because Jonah's scaring the hell out of me. I was gonna give the key to Logan, but he's a no-show. Guess he'll have to do. Go away, Sammy. Jonah, it's me. Oh, it's you. Just go away. I don't want you to see me like this. No. No! Shut up! Just stop! I'm sorry. It's, it's not you. You've always been good to me. I know you tried. It just didn't work. Just leave me alone. Oh, I think that's, uh, that's the voice actor for, for, for uh, Cecil Sharp. And also his brother. Not brother. Um, son. <laughs> For the Blackwell games. And also Logan out there, uh, that he's he's voiced by Logan Cunningham, uh, aka the uh, narrator from Bastion. Uh, what didn't work? Him. They just won't leave. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I can't. I can't. Not till not till no. Come out, Jonah. Talk to me. Damn it! No! Just go away! Get out! What did I tell you? Poor Jonah. We've got to help him. You want to cuddle him? Do it when you're not here. Or take my advice and stay away from guys like that. <laughs> I know it's not good for business, but some people just shouldn't drink. Crap like that runs in the family. I should have barred Jonah along with his drunk-ass brother. I said go away. I said go away. I will do no such thing. The key to Sammy's bathroom. Actually, do you need to stand? I oh. locked that door for a reason. Don't do that. Please don't. Jonah put the gun down. Uh, I don't think I can do that. They keep talking to me with the begging and pleading and crying. Can't you hear them? They are so loud. Oh, no. You need help, Jonah. Help? Who can help me with this? I thought I had it bad with just her. But now, there are so many, so, so many. I close my eyes, they're there. I try to sleep, they're there. I tried to drink, they are still here. It got so bad, my boss fired me. Me, just like they fired my brother. It just keeps getting worse. I can't make them go away. Also note the uh, 
the, the words written on the wind on the mirrors back here. Help him, please. Mm, let's see. Jonah, give me the gun. No, this is my only way out. You wouldn't take that from me, would you? I can't stop them. All I can do is join them. No. No, 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 no. Join who? The dead. The army of the dead. They want me to join them. Army of the dead? Yeah. They started coming about a month ago. First goes Kay, a little girl. She told me I was chosen. Then I started seeing more and more everywhere. They won't leave me alone. If I have to die to make it stop, then so be it. I feel like all of these are going to be the wrong answer. <laughs> you can get help, Jonah. There are treatments, drugs. What? You think being locked up in Bellevue is better? Locked in Bellevue with these dead things? I've thought about it, asking for help. I can't live like this, but I don't want to die, man. I, I don't want to die. Why is this happening? Good, then don't. Thank you for the follow, Pariah Dog. We'll get you help, I promise. You think? I don't know if I can be helped, but it's worth a try, I guess. Here, just take it. Yes, good. Thanks. You and Sammy, man, you've always been good to me. And this book, you can take this too. Book? Yeah, I thought it would help. It's about spirits and ghosts and stuff. It had techniques to make them go away, but I think it's just made it worse. Take it, will you? I just don't want to look at it. Ah, I got, I got me right. the... Let's go. I owe Sammy an apology. All right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Was that a gunshot to Jonah? Ugh. Right. Right. Yep. Yep. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha! Eli! You can't see him from this angle, but his moaning tells you he's alive. She looks ordinary, but had a grip like a steel vice. She's hovering over the man like a mother hen. Judging by the view, you're somewhere in Brooklyn, quite far away from your bar in the Bronx. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. That's me, totally harmless. Now, who are you people? See? She doesn't even remember us. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. It's weird. I weird. apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. You just threatened me with a sword. That is correct. It is also correct that we just saved your soul. Do as you like. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. All oh, right, there's different achievements for uh, for all the openings, both male and female routes. Neat. You don't know what building you're in, but this door leads into it.
Oh, wait. Wait, what did that say? Save game as the capacity? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, so I do have to start deleting save files. That's fine. <laughs> Let's just delete all the things. I'll I'll go back through here. I'll go back. I'll go through the, through my save um, files later and um, delete a bunch of old ones, uh, so that I don't have to. So that I don't, I don't end up spoiling anybody anybody on stuff that happens later in the game. But uh, yeah, I'll do that off stream. I should have done it before I started, but I didn't think it would be that much of a problem. Hello. Do take your time. Soak it all in. Uh, yeah. Someone's been soaked all in. <laughs> Impaled straight through the heart and hanging like a rag doll. This man is slashed in several places. You can only hope he went quickly. An old woman lies crushed under the table. A large mass of debris blocks the front door. This man's face has been beaten beyond recognition. At least the rain is keeping the crowds away. If she is affected by the carnage around her, she gives no sign. These stairs lead back up to the roof. He looks slightly green. He is obviously uncomfortable being here. You can relate. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? What the hell happened here? Your answer is within your question. Hell indeed happened here. These innocents, innocents of the city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. By me? That's impossible. I think you'll find your definition of impossible is about to change. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you murdered that man Jonah in cold blood and that bartender. Wait, Jonah and Sammy are dead? I killed them? Your body did, if that's what you mean. That bar's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain Oof. washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. Thanks. Great. Good. This is horrible. It is good that you think this way. The demon who possessed you? It would not. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. I'd love to chat and get to know you better, but we need to vamoose. Quickly. Leave through the back door. We will follow. It's much quicker to go out the back door, you know. And safer. A fire escape ladder would be treacherous in this weather. Fine. Let's, um, yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. Right. I kind of remember what happens here. A silent air conditioner. A deep puddle fills the cement floor of this alley. 
Rainwater is pouring out of this drain pipe. A dumpster, open and exposed to the elements. This pipe looks a bit corroded, but sturdy. No water is flowing through this drain pipe. Her exhausted eyes glare at you with, sus with suspicion. Despite the weather, he is completely dry. The raindrops evaporate before they touch his suit. This door is locked with a sturdy padlock. Just look around. There's bound to be something. Please do not waste time speaking. We grow tired. A thick and sturdy lever juts out from the power box. It's in the on position. The insulation is worn thin here, exposing the wire. Sparks are flying off it. Better not touch. Nothing inside. Trash and more trash. A heavily stained tablecloth. A large spool of copper wire. Sure, I like things. I'll take those. A dirty cloth rack. A spool of copper wire. Hey, welcome back over solo. You've got to be kidding me. This place much has changed. Hello. Preacher, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. The creature's body is made what of you are, and Jin Child. No skin I you know see. you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Kind Nobody of. Nobody here has done such a thing. It is um, a... That might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a lot of power. Probably yeah. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. It's in the same universe, um, and it does take place me. after Blackwell, Play but it's not a direct sequel. You don't understand. I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. Yeah, and there are other references as well. I know a falsehood when I hear one. You heard um Jonah mention Bellevue smell for one. Your power, Mageling. You have not left. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. That may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. Ah, so you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. <laughs> I have no quarrel with either of you. Not quite. <laughs> I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all? What type of food do you require? On this plane of existence, human flesh is all that will sustain me. He's hungry. Of course it is. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. Agreed. We cannot allow that. Depart in peace. There need not be bloodshed. I need to feed. I will die otherwise. The lady asked you to leave. You give me orders? I summoned you. I do have that right. <laughs> if you have the will to enforce it. Right. So, leave. I command it. 
Return across the void from where you came. <laughs> you're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> Eli, he is not leaving. <laughs> I could see that. Mageling, you created no summoning circle, no spells of binding, no means of holding me. Look, it was my first exorcism, okay? Neophyte mage, playing with forces you don't understand. I'm mage enough okay, to so burn they, you they into loop, a greasy smudge. Here. Hello. You lie. Hi. Hargle. <laughs> I can smell your power. And then he at my face. <laughs> you have not left. You are nearly spent. Ignores and you, you. She ignores Jin you. Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. Ah! <laughs> that may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so <laughs> honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. Uh, let's the see. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. Ah. So you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all? What type of One food do you require? One end in the puddle. On this plane of existence, human flesh is all that will sustain me. Of course it is. That's not going to happen. Sorry. Agreed. We cannot allow that. Depart in peace. There need not be bloodshed. I need to feed. I will die otherwise. <coughs> the lady asked you to leave. You give me orders? Oh, there we go. I summoned you. I do have that right. If you have the will to enforce it. Right. So I there's a way leave. to um I command it. Right, hold on. Return across the void from where you came. Oops. Zappy zappy. That was Creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. Someone had to do something. You guys obviously weren't. Look, lady. Under most circumstances, I would have been happy to burn that guy to a crisp. But my magic's tapped out. I used it all up saving you. And she returned the favor to both of us. <sighs> he lives! Such agony. What matter of pain is this? Uh, also, this is uh, this guy's voiced by Edwin Tiong, who um, also voiced Detective Grimoire, which are which which uh, I, I I played those games recently. <laughs> About ten thousand volts. It hurts. Unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? Are you talking to me? I can sense the corruption within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed. 
on human flesh. In this world, nothing else <laughs> no. will sustain me. <laughs> the stink alley. What about the dead bodies inside? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families, loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. It was your magic that brought it here. The choice is yours. You're the one with the sword. You are the one who summoned it. You've got seniority. Then I delegate this choice to you. <laughs> oh, now you suddenly trust my judgment. I always do. You wouldn't let me make toast this morning. <laughs> I grew hungry while you bicker. Quiet! Quiet! Eli, we must be quick. Tell me to kill him and I will. Since when do you need my permission to do anything? I cannot kill a creature in cold blood. So, will what? Let him chew up the bodies inside? No, we cannot do that either. Choose! Quiet! Quiet! I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's... Yes, it is the most... practical solution. Let him feed. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished? Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. Bye! It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your... situation. Situation? You want to tell her, or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. You certainly can't go back to that bar of yours. Indeed. Although, I could certainly use a drink after tonight. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally, there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? You guys are obviously helpless without me. <laughs> say that again after my powers recharge. None of us are at full strength. Come, we can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, yes, the adventure game protagonist's curse. <laughs> So that was actually perfect. That was perfect timing. Uh, we finished the prologue, and uh, yeah, we're we're gonna 
start the game properly um, next time. Let's let's save here and. Um, <laughs> New friends. That's actually a pretty good name for the save file, but yes. Um, oh, right. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll go and delete my old, all my old saves. Uh, later. Maybe maybe just after I stopped streaming tonight, because I got nothing else to do. Um, and I'll probably forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we'll continue Unavowed next week on Wednesday, at the, on the proper day, uh, hopefully. And uh, we'll do more Blackwell, uh, not Blackwell, <laughs> Batman Telltale series uh, on Tuesday next week. So until then, oops, wait a minute. Sorry. Okay. Until then, um, take care and let me find someone to raid. Um, we got some Diablo again. What else? I think I saw Nerethia streaming something. Was he, was he streaming? Oh, Resident Evil Survivor. Yeah, Resident Evil's on everyone's brains <laughs> this uh, recently, which, I mean, I know why. <laughs> There's a very good reason for that. Taco Vetcher streaming the Daedalus Encounter. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't think I've rated Taco Adventure in a while, so let's do that. I don't know anything about that game, but... Should be interesting, maybe, I hope. So thank you again for watching, and uh, yeah, take care and all that good stuff, and I will see you, what? Unraid, no, that's not what I wanted to do. No, raid damn you. Start raid. That was weird. Um, oh, because I clicked out of the window, that's what I did. I am so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's like I've been doing this for years or something. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.